I don't know when I left the house. The day after? The next day? I searched the neighborhood from Arlington to Crenshaw. Well, that took, what, two, three days? What difference does it make? I mean, after a certain amount of time, you get the message. No one's coming home. never saw anyone? No one. I know. Spooky, right? I wasn't scared exactly. I kept thinking any second zombies were gonna jump out and go all George Romero on me. Zombies are the walking dead. You see any bodies? Ugh, I didn't want to look too close. Ugh. I went to work. I was down for the first shift anyway, so I opened up. I thought maybe, you know, one of the early birds. After a while, I felt like an idiot serving cocktails to the thin air. So I walked down to the 7-Eleven, broke the window. I stuck up on power bars and went to the beach. I didn't want to leave. But then I saw the smoke. I thought either the city is starting to burn or someone built a fire. Someone, as in other than me. So if you weren't scared exactly, what were you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Only? This is my hubby's only day off, and it's so darn hot up in Hollywood. So I made us a couple of beefsteak tomato sandwiches, and we hopped on the red line. A picnic at the Santa Monica Pier. Isn't that just the ticket for a hot day? The funny thing was, the farther I walked, the less I could see. It was like with no people to look at, my eyes started to shut down. I was losing my, what do you call it, sideways vision? Peripheral? Yeah, my peripheral. It's like I was uh, a horse with blinders on. There's more you. That's fine. Everything's ship shape. Well, I gotta get going. Excuse me? Going? Where are you going? Sorry, man. I gotta go. Go where? What did he say? Did he say where he was going? No. No? No! <laughs> <laughs> 